That's off the spot hard. See ya. I'm calling it now. 2024, it's gonna be one of the best hammer balls, the best skid flip ball there is on the market. Nothing's gonna touch this ball. It's gonna be a lot to try. What's up guys, Brunsnick's back and it's time to introduce the Hammer Effect. Now the Hammer Effect has so much technology to unpack and we're gonna talk about it all throughout this video. I can't wait to see this new technology on the lanes for me with Specto running, of course. But before we get to that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's see what Hammer Effect does for me. All right, the newest Hammer Ball in the line, all sorts of technology, the Hammer Effect, First off, let's look at the colors. First four color ball in history. It's never been done. Other balls may look like they have four colors, but it's just because two of the colors blended or whatever. But this is four individual colors with the burgundy, the black, the blue, and the purple. The other thing is HK22, we have a new additive, Cohesion HK22. So a lot more performance with this one and a brand new core, which took all the best things from Hammer's iconic cores, and we call it the Huntsman Core. 2.470 RG, 050 differential, and 017 intermediate. So ultra low RG, pretty high differential, and a pretty strong intermediate. So we're bowling on crown jewel pattern, 43 feet, nothing crazy. Same house shot I always bowl on to do these reviews. We got Specto running. I'm also bowling with the brand new Hammer Power Diesel interchangeable shoes, black and purple. They got the no lace system. Super comfortable trying them out pretty much for the first time this week. So these are out, uh, should be out immediately here. They just landed in Muskegon and they should be shipping to distributors everywhere you know. All right, let's try the first shot, play them out. My left foot's on 15, I usually drift a little bit left, but that's my straighter type shot. Let's give this thing a go. Uh-oh, that's out wide, come on. <laughs> uh. That's how it's gonna be. Eight pin right out of the gate. Now the bowling balls, I leave a lot of eight pins. I typically love, right? Man, how you doing? It says, welcome. That's the hammer effect, man. Let's do that again. That was kind of fun. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Ah, I think I get a round of applause every time I leave a stone eight. It's just how it is. a little better. Oh, man, that thing just ran over everything. With bowling balls that are typically designed for more skid flip, you know, when you got those heavy response cover stocks with this HK22 and the cohesion additive, it's a brand new additive, we're looking for response. Now sometimes that doesn't translate well when you're looking to play straighter. It becomes a little uncontrollable. But there, it seemed to hold pocket just fine and have a lot more hit on the back end. It went through the pins fine. Let's do that again. Stone eight, crush. I think we can do that again. That was a great shot. That's in, that's in. It didn't matter. That's what we're talking about here. You know, having a shiny ball that still tractions in oil. Sometimes when you get those shinier bowling balls, they tend to be a little bit over under, right? You hear that all the time, over under. But with certain additives and certain cover stock technologies, we can get that ball to grip the lane when it needs to, without being overly skiddy to create that reaction on the back, to have that back end snap. So far, A plus from playing straight. So let's move it five left. We're gonna stand on the big dot, 20, and we'll give it just a little bit of a swing. Nothing crazy. This will be a zone where I really like playing, playing league, especially to start. Man. I think we're onto something here. This is my first time ever throwing this bowling ball, and I know what happened behind the scenes on this ball. All the work that went into designing this particular bowling ball. Because obviously, Hammer is not lacking in the performance department. With Black Widows, Vibes, Purple Hammer, got all covered, but we wanted to go even further. And we wanted to take that Black Widow type reaction and make it even better. So I think we got it here. Brand new core. Liking how this thing rolls. 
Doesn't want to roll forward. Got to round it more. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that thing responds even harder the more I get around the side of it. And I knew that from the start. It's kind of, I threw that ball and I kind of had a feeling. I'm like, oh boy, here it comes. Coming off that spot hard. All right, I'm gonna throw one more from there. I'm really excited for this ball. I think we're gonna give this a few extra shots in each zone just to kind of really test this bowling ball. It's around the side of it, but I gave it more room. Come on, almost carried it all. Yeah, I think this is gonna be one of those bowling balls that it's not gonna have any issue playing different zones. Playing out, moving in. I don't think this ball is gonna labor. I mean, we're gonna find out because that's what we do with these videos. But judging off of those shots, this effect is not gonna have that issue. All right, I'm gonna move five. So we're gonna be 10 left of our original spot. Standing on 25 with a little bit of a drift left, like I always do. Let's see what this ball does playing through the oil a little bit. Yes. Almost had the 710 up there for a split second. What kind of video would that be? Stone eight and then solid 710. I don't think I would like that. I don't like that at all. I'm glad it didn't. All right. So. First shot through the oil, you know, the compound finish. Did it hook as much as it should have? I mean, it was okay. I think I can get it just a board right more, get it to that dry spot a little earlier and watch this thing boomerang. Like that, maybe. Okay, half pocket, kick that 10 out hard. So I wanted to set up just a little bit sooner. Coming in half pocket, both those shots, as I start to open my angles, I feel like I got that one out maybe a little bit wider, but I think I can bring the ball speed down a little bit. So I think that's what I'm gonna try on this last shot before we move in another five. Is I'm just gonna bring the speed down maybe a quarter mile, half mile, that's my goal. We'll see how my feel is doing today. what it takes. So reading your ball reaction, not just on the lane, but through the pins. That's the last part. And a lot of people don't see it that well. You know, they don't look for that part. They just see, oh, my ball's hooking. It did this. After the pins, stop paying attention. Always pay attention to your ball as it goes through the pins. All right. Let's move five more. We're going to be 15 left. So we're standing on 30 now. Really gonna open up these angles. And it's gonna be a test, we're gonna find out. Can it get back through the pins playing wider angles? Oh, pins flew everywhere. Wrapped to 10. So, yeah, I mean, it's gonna come down to ball speed, I think, a little bit. The ball comes down through the spot, but it's just a little bit late. I'm about a foot or two late. So I need to get that ball to slow down. That cleaner cover with that cohesion. It's, it's hitting, it's going hard, but just a little bit late. So I'm just gonna work the side of it just a little bit more to get at the tip. There. <laughs> Almost thought I knew what I was doing there. It's just a small change at the bottom with the hand. You know, it's more like going from here to here. That's all it is, is that feel at the bottom where you're trying to keep that hand on the inside, the fingers on the inside of the ball to rotate around it. That's how you get the ball to come off that spot harder. So let's do that again, see if I can repeat that. And then we'll move in again. Come on, ball. So that's the whole thing as you get here and then you kind of give it just a little bit more inside that's coming off that spot hard yeah 
yeah. That's it, you just unload it. You don't try to hit it any harder, you don't try to do anything else. Just maintain that, come through the zone, and hit it. So we got one more spot to do. 20 left. I hope you guys are seeing this ball go down the lane. Even with four colors, they all blend in perfectly with each other. It's all harmony. So we're on uh, 35 now standing. And I'm gonna keep up that same release. I'm not gonna do anything different. Let me bring the speed down. That's off the spot hard. See ya. Yup. If you want skid flip, I'm calling it now. 2024, it's gonna be one of the best hammer balls, the best skid flip ball there is on the market. Nothing's gonna to touch this ball. It's gonna be a lot to try, but shiny ball performance, it's right here. Let's throw one more in there. Bad rack. Can I overcome the bad rack? I don't know. It's in the oil. Hook. Yeah. I asked it to hook, it hooked. But unless I really got the angle on that right on an open rack like that, you see that a lot on this channel, is you're just not gonna strike. I'm gonna throw one more from there though. But the good news on that shot was I missed quite a bit in. And I didn't two pin, I didn't nothing. So still had a chance to strike. Hit that half pocket or that light mixer hit. Almost struck, but almost don't count. So let's do it right this time. Like that. Too much. Got a little slow, but I did leave the 710. Eight pin and a 710. We, we worked it in there. But we can't end on that note, can we? That felt slow, real slow. Uh, let's do a uh, redo mulligan. It's almost golf season. It's almost mulligan season. Great shot, that's it. Yep. All right, normally this is where I go back to where I think the ball performed the best. And honestly, it performed pretty dang good from all parts of the lanes, would you agree? But if I'm gonna pick a spot, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move it back 10. I'm gonna go 10 left. And uh, I think that's where, you know, obviously the lanes are fresh. I feel like that was like right at home. So right here is where my spot is, standing on 25, so 10 left of the original spot. I'm gonna throw one more shot. Yeah. All right. We talked about a lot in this video with the hammer effect. Four colors, brand new core, brand new cohesion additive. A lot to talk about and we covered it all with the hammer effect. Ball performance is legit. Hope this video helped you. If it did, please subscribe. If it definitely pushed you to get this ball, let me know in the comments below. Also check out the new merch, Brunswick with Inside Bowling. Links below in the description. Talk to you guys soon. See you on another video.